Hello everyone, today I'm showing you how to determine the primary root diameter. As I mentioned earlier in the video, we have different zones in the root tip. So you need to determine according to your experiment in which place uh, you're gonna measure the diameter. So if it is metastomatic zone or the elongation zone or the differentiating zone. So this is how it, the root tip looks under the microscope. So you'll see it's very hard to determine uh, which place is this uh, zone or the zonations are appearing. So to begin with, as usual, we, we are using the image J software. Open this image J software and you can then go to file and open the, this uh, image with these different scales. If there is no scale already present in this uh, micrograph. So I'm not going to open them because I already have opened these windows. So I'm going to take them out with the scale. So first thing we need to do is set the scale. So right click on these uh, different tools and uh, you can just pick the straight line and then draw a line to set the scale. Go to analyze set scale and then you can put into one millimeter and set to global so that all the time if the micrograph with the same scale will have this uh, one millimeter scale so you can click ok or just you can use this 200 micrometer draw in the line and follow the same procedure to set the scale and then go to your micrograph and take this window out and you can uh, use this hand to, to move this uh, micrograph or this zoom function to move, zoom in and out this uh, root. So now take a tool, line tool. I'm going to use the straight line and draw a line like this. So uh, using control M or just using analyze a measure, you can uh, record your reading. So these are the ones you need, the diameter in millimeter scale. And then you can also go to these different zones like elongating zones. Take the diameter with control M or move to this differentiating zone to take this diameter at the differentiating zone so all this will be recorded in this results window and then you can just copy paste and analyze your data set good luck with your experiments